was at a community event in the Bronx in Co-op City. And when I get home, I see a text from my team saying, hey, let me know if you need any help with this Elon stuff. And I was like, what? So I pulled my Twitter app and it's like gone. Like when you pull up your mentions and stuff like that, it's just like literally like a blank screen, totally gone. And I was like, hmm, that's weird. So it turns out we got under a certain little billionaire skin. You know, my mama was a simple woman. She didn't have the knowledge of six years at academia to teach me about political correctness, but she did teach me about good manners. And one of them was not with your mouth full. Just finish eating and then start the TikTok video. Jesus. The second interesting thing is uh, the fact that AOC is selling $58 hoodies like a proud capitalist would. Isn't this interesting? So... Um, she is upset that you have to pay $8 on Twitter in order to have free speech, but she is selling $58 hoodies. And when you look at it, who her target demographic is, it makes perfect sense. Because you need to understand the place of a person like AOC. You see, she's not a politician. None of her legislation that she proposed actually passed. She doesn't do debates. She doesn't try to engage with the opposition and find the middle ground. No, what she is doing is that she is a symbol for a specific type of demographic. And that is the corporate drones, including, I would say, the HR ladies. And like, that's who she represents. You look at this video, right? Like the nails are very well done. Uh, she's wearing a professional attire, right? She's not casually dressed. Um, she has like this very professional, well-made video. Like, it, it's the type of person that we in Romania called a laptop file, like the, the type of person that drinks Starbucks and is always connected to the laptop. That is the type of person that AOC is representing. So when you look at the fact that she is charging $58 for hoodies, it makes complete sense because if she was actually talking about the poor, you know, the barely arrived immigrants, uh, the uh, people living in the ghettos, uh, if she was having a voting base with the working class, uh, the garbage collectors, the farmers, uh, none of them would spend $58 for a hoodie or a black sweatshirt at $22.84 that has tax the rich on it. I guess if you buy this, it's kind of like a rich tax, right? Like you need to show that you support AOC to your fellow corporate drones. So you walk into the office it's like, look, I bought the $58 hoodie. So you're virtue signaling now. Uh, but if her voting base was actually the impoverished, if it was actually poor people, then none of them would be able to, to buy this. And even if they do have money to buy this, most people that are uh, in that situation are more financially conservative, let's put it like that. So yeah, given the fact that her voting base is the corporate people, you know, the ones working at Google, working at Twitter, um, yeah, it, it makes absolute sense that she would put it this much. Now, when Elon Musk called... Uh, her out because she was complaining about having to pay eight dollars for a blue check mark which by the way by the way apparently people had to pay up to fifteen thousand dollars under the table to get a blue check mark right so if you wanted to get a blue check mark on the official channels before you wouldn't be able to but if you knew someone at Twitter that was a higher up you could pay them under the table up to fifteen thousand dollars the article claims and you could get a blue check mark. That's how valuable a blue check mark was. And this is why she is upset. It's not because, well, people can't pay $8 for one. She's upset because the value of it, which was up to $15,000, is going down. Okay? So, uh, Elon Musk exposes this thing that she is uh, asking uh, for ridiculous amounts of money to buy merch. Uh, and her comeback was, well, it's union made. And this is actually a way for me to gather funds for my campaign and on top of that we donate a lot of the money to charity right so basically you're paying 58 dollars for not a hoodie you're paying 58 dollars to donate to her campaign and in exchange you get a hoodie right i think that's how she spins it but the new york post did some investigating and found out that she made around 11.7 million dollars in the current election cycle which by the way she's projected to win and 
her Republican opponent, Tina Forte, only raised $1.2 million. But hey, you know, like that's fine. Because the money goes to charity, right? I mean, this is a charity event. Well, according to the campaign filings, out of all the money she made, only $11,000 has gone to community groups since January 2021, including 4217 to the Star Lighthouse Organization in the Bronx for the Homework Helpers program, which was talking about. So uh, if, if only $11,000 has gone to charity, take into account that the charity itself also has to pay for its own marketing, its own uh, employees. Um, so the amount that actually gets to the people in need, who the charity is supposed to help, is incredibly small. Like, I, I would be surprised if they get a couple of hundred dollars, let alone a thousand. So, Elon Musk just beat the F on her at this point. And all she had to do was to be quiet. You know, like, she didn't have to say, Oh, eight dollars. Oh my god, this is too much. How will I manage to pay for it? Because I, I just managed to crowdfund 11 million dollars in my campaign. Uh, but at the end of the day, none of this matters, right? Because I firmly believe that the corporate drones, which are purchasing AOC merch, uh, they're not purchasing it in order to donate for the community. Uh, because if they wanted to donate to the community, they would just donate to the community. No, they're doing it as a virtue signal. Like, imagine you walk up to the office and you have the $58 hoodie and you have, like, the, the $25 t-shirt with the tax the rich and, you know, like... You're showing all of this attire. You're you're showing to the HR lady that, that you're part of the team. You're part of the corpo family. And this is what AOC is supposed to be. She is a symbol for corporations. She is a mascot, if you will, for the corporations. Um, and the people that support her, they're, they're doing this in order to somehow like pledge an allegiance. They don't expect new legislation. They don't expect uh, AOC to bring up some new talking points into the conversation that would shock everyone. No, like they, they just do it in order to show to other people how much they care. Because a vote for AOC is a vote for compassion. And also, I, I gotta say, like I admire the way she manages to victimize herself in every situation. Like this is an art that I don't think I would ever manage. Uh, remember when Ben Shapiro asked her for a debate and she said, oh my God, that's like catcalling. In other words, uh, Ben Shapiro is uh, sexually harassing her in a way by, by asking her to a debate. Um, she said that Ted Cruz is an assassin that's out to get her, like her life is in danger, give her more donation campaign money, right? Vote for more Democrats to keep her safe. Uh, and now Elon Musk is plotting against her. Funny how no one calls her out, like funny how no one points out, well, you're, you're spinning a conspiracy theory, like you're ma ma making it sound like the people at Twitter are conspiring against you. No one used the word conspiracy theory. Isn't that interesting? She didn't show any receipts. She didn't show any proof. And even if she did, even if she were to show that, okay, her Twitter page is blank or whatever, that doesn't necessarily mean that she's being targeted, right? Because it might just be a glitch. I mean, Twitter is in a transition right now. A lot of people have been fired. Yeah, glitches do happen. Uh, myself included, I noticed that when I speak with people in DM, sometimes their messages don't pop up. I mean, it happens, right? It doesn't mean that uh, Elon Musk has it in for me. Jesus Christ, like the, the level of um, self-importance. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, as usual, there is a link into the pinned comment, which will take you to my subscribe star where you can uh, donate. Maybe I should also start selling $58 hoodies, but uh, I think I'm uh, trying to attract the wrong demographic. I would have to start attracting the people with the... Uh, Latte coffee, the, uh, the the ones that have a uh, wine dispenser at work, like they do on Twitter. I'm not kidding. Maybe I should cover that. Like they actually had wine at Twitter. You go there, you, you put a glass, and there's wine coming up from the dispenser. Jesus Christ.